During this session, we will be using the updated BIM cloud to collaborate on a design project and manage the files and documentation in the cloud. Let's start by signing into the BIM Cloud Manager. And we're using the hosted BIM Cloud, BIM Cloud as a service. After signing in, the menu gives access to various aspects of managing the BIM Cloud, including the users, projects, and permissions. Note that the licenses are handled automatically as part of the subscription. By clicking the projects icon, we can see which projects have already been created and also start creating a new project. Today we will be looking at Burton Road. As well as containing the Archicad Teamwork project, the folder structure includes DWG survey drawings that have already been uploaded, along with modules for the kitchen and bathroom layouts, and an IFC file from the structural engineer. We will look at these in more detail in Archicad in a moment. Here, new files can be uploaded directly to the BIM Cloud. The Archicad Teamwork project includes snapshots, which act as a backup of various design stages and allow the designers to return to previous iterations where required. Permissions can be set at the individual teamwork level or project levels and can be set for individuals, for groups relating to their specific roles, or for project specific teams. This approach is very flexible in allowing both setting up global permissions and also fine tuning for each project. The users section of BIM Cloud displays a list of current team members who can access the BIM Cloud or teamwork projects and allows new team members to be created. Here we can set up each user's login details teamwork colour code, and global permissions. Now, let's open the Burton Road Teamwork project in Archicad. Here is the Burton Road Teamwork project hosted on the BIM Cloud. As we can see in the Teamwork palette, Scott and I are both currently signed in and able to work on this project together simultaneously. Richard is also signed in on a mobile device using the BIMX app. We'll make some design alterations in a moment, but first let's look at the structure of the project. Alongside the main project file, we saw that an IFT file and a series of modules have also been uploaded to the BIM Cloud. The Hotlink Manager shows these files are hotlinked into the project directly from the BIM Cloud. The IFC file contains the structural engineer's model, and the modules have been used for bathroom and kitchen layouts where there is a repetition in the design. If any of these files are superseded, for example if the engineer provides an updated file, they can upload the latest version and we can see the changes directly in Archicad. To visualise these files, we can highlight them. Here, the modules are highlighted based on each room layout type. And here, we can see the structural engineer's model highlighted. Now that we are familiar with the project, Scott and I are going to make some design changes. Using the teamwork palette, we can reserve elements in the model so that we can make changes to these and prevent others from editing them in the meantime. The teamwork palette will also show us which elements are being worked on by which team member. Here I'll set the palette to show reservation by user, and anything that's currently blue is unreserved. As soon as Scott reserves anything in the model, we'll see it highlighted in red. Scott is going to work on redesigning this section of the model. Likewise, my elements will be highlighted in green. I'm going to take a look at the finishes. So we'll start by reserving the appropriate external walls based on their current finish. Using the Find and Select palette, I will select the brick walls and reserve them. So they are now within my workspace. Once I've reserved them, I can edit these, in this case, by changing the surface finish. I will repeat this process for the Flemish Bond brick walls.
Now that I'm happy with these changes, I will send them back to the BIM cloud. Note that only the changes are synchronised, we're not uploading the entire model. Now let's see how Scott is getting on. In the teamwork palette, we can send a direct message to Scott or anyone else involved in this task. We can also attach an image of this part of the building as a reference. Scott says that he's completed the changes, so we want the whole team to now receive the latest design changes. At this point, I'm going to message the whole team and attach a task asking everybody to download the latest version. I will also download these changes myself. To see what's changed in the model, I'm going to use the Model Compare feature. Model Compare will look at two versions of a project, or two project files, and highlight the differences. Here we can select the latest updated version of the project as Model 2, and compare the changes in this perspective view. The elements highlighted in red are from the old version of the model, which have now been deleted in this case, and the blue elements are new and have recently been created. The slider bar lets us transition between the old version and the new version of the project, or show them in combination. ARCHICAD also lists any changes, and as we click on any of these, we can take a closer look. This will assist in preparing our revision notes. Now that we have an updated design proposal, we're going to publish the drawings. If we're using the change management tools, we could publish the revised drawings. In this case, we'll publish all of the updated elevations as PDFs. I'm going to choose the BIM Cloud as the path to publish these files, and then hit the Publish button. Now that the files have been published, let's take a closer look at these on BIM Cloud. I'll navigate to the appropriate folder, and here we can see the PDFs. We can download a local copy of any of these drawings by selecting a file and clicking the Download button. Let's open the drawing in our navigator. We're also going to publish an updated BIMX file. BIMX is a mobile communication app for Android and iOS devices, as well as browser-based and desktop versions. We can publish the model, along with the drawings and data we choose to export, at any stage of the design process. This could be to send a version of the model for review, or to external parties such as clients and contractors. The exact content of the BIMX file will depend on the intended recipient. In this case, I'm going to publish a version of the model to be accessed by team members who may be in meetings or on site. Now we can see Richard in the project in BIMX. BIMX lets us navigate around the 3D model, as well as drawing sheets. Because Richard is also a Teamwork member, he's able to sign into the project and communicate back to the design team using the built-in messaging system. Here, Richard will create a message, again with the option to attach an image, and send it to the relevant team members working on the project. And now, back in ARCHICAD, 
we can see the message pops up on the screen instantly.